हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक इंटरनल टेबल ऑपरेशंस एंड वी विल कवर द नेक्स्ट इंटरनल टेबल ऑपरेशन दैट इज कलेक्ट इंटरनल टेबल ऑपरेशन नाउ व्हाट इज कलेक्ट इंटरनल टेबल ऑपरेशन दिस ऑपरेशन इज यूज्ड टू मेक सम ऑफ amount values means we will make sum of the amount values based upon what based upon unique character values so what is the collect internal table operation with the help of this operation you can make sum of amount values you can make total of amount values based upon what based upon unique character values suppose i will take a example and then we will go for practical part for the same suppose i have this sample data i have three columns company department and amount suppose company name is abc in the month of january suppose admin department expenses 10000 in the month of january that company spend 10000 on admin department in the month of january itself suppose hr department expenses 20000 suppose in january month admin department spend 10000 hr department spend 20000 now in the month of february admin department has admin department expenses 50000 so in the month of february itself the training department expenses 10000 and the hr department expense is 20000 now suppose quarter ended so at the end of the quarter we want to check that what are the total expense for a particular department if i will go for total expense of a particular department then how and what should be the result so we have three column company department and amount so what is company abc what is the department first the first department is admin so for the admin department what is the total expense 10000 plus 50000 is 60000 now for hr department what is the total expense 20000 plus 20000 40000 now what is the expense for the training department so training department total expense is 10000 so what we are doing we are calculating we are making sum of amount based upon what based upon unique character value have you seen abc admin is a unique character abc hr is a unique character abc training is a unique character so we are making sum of we are making sum of amount values based upon what unique character values suppose if i will take a example suppose company name is suppose i am saying a a b c d and the department is suppose hr and the expense is 20000 see the department is same but company name is different company name is different so whenever collect is making sum it is taking a full unique combination so it does not mean that this hr 20000 will add here no abcd is a unique character abcd hr is a unique character so it will go as a separate row it will go as a separate row but the total expense now 20000 so never think that one value is same so it will make some no the whole thing will act 
as a unique character combination. This is 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 unique character combination. And widely used and 100% this operation is widely, widely used in the project because we want to make sum of amount values. We want to calculate the amount. We want to make sum of the amount based upon unique character values. Now, what we will do, we will go for the system and we will do the practical for the same. Now we have how many columns? First column, company name. Second column, department. Third column, amount. Suppose I will remove this row. Will not take this into consideration. So I have three columns. I have three columns. I have how many rows? I have five records. You all know that I need to create an internal table. Internal table has how many columns? Three columns. And in the internal table, I will insert how many records? Five records I will insert. Then we will apply collect internal table operation onto those five records. And you all know very well in the previous videos, we put so much stress. Whenever you want a internal table, the first thing you need to create a structure. You need to create a structure and structure will consist of how many column? Three column. Because our internal table has how many column? Three column. It means we will require a structure type of how many column? Three columns. So we will do the practical for the same. I will go to SC38 transaction code. I will give some name to the program. Suppose ZPRG demo underscore collect. I will go for create. I will give the title. Demo on collect operation. I will take the type as executable program. We'll go for save. Suppose I will save it as a local object. I will activate the program. Now we will create a structure type of three columns. And you all know whenever you are creating a structure type through coding, what is the first keyword types? You can create through SC11 transaction code also. It's total your wish. Now, firstly, suppose I'm creating through coding. But the keyword begin off. Suppose my name of the structure type is LTY underscore data com. LTY means local type. Now, what is first column? What is first column? Company name. Suppose I will write C name. I will write type. Suppose I will take character. Anyways, company name is ABC. So I will take the length as three. Now, rather than going by this way, you can use the data element also. If you have a existing data element of character three, you can use that also. It's your total, total your wish. Because we covered, yes, whenever you want to go for anything, if you are using column name type, data element because ultimately data element has what domain domain is all about what technical characteristics means data type and length so you can use data element also if you want to go by that way now what is second column second column is department suppose length is 10 type character so i have Two character columns, column names, company name and department. Now I will take amount column. Okay. Suppose amount type. Now for the amount, suppose I will use a data element so that you can understand that we can go by both the ways. If you see 
in order header table we have a amount column for the amount column this is the data element data element and if you see this data element has a domain of CURR 7, 2. So what is the length and type of this? It is of CURR type and length is 7 and decimal places is 2. It's total your wish how you want to go. So in this particular structure type, I declare first two columns by without using the data element third column I declared using the data element. I will end this structure. Dot. So my structure type has ended. Now I will declare internal table and work area data. LT underscore data. You all know LT means local table. We are going for best naming convention. And whenever you are going for internal table, the keyword is type table of. If you are using structure type, if you are using structure type to declare the internal table, the keyword is always, always type table of. Now I will declare per area data. LWA underscore data type. Work area is never, never a table because work area always store single record. Now, our structure type is ready. Structure of three columns is ready. Internal table is ready. Work area is ready. Now, we need to insert five records to the internal table internal table and you all know if i want to insert records to the internal table how i can insert through append internal table operation that is already covered one by one we will pass the record to work area from the work area we will pass it to internal table so i will firstly go for work area what is work area? LWA underscore data hyphen. What is first column? Company name, C name. I will give the value. Suppose A, B, C. Top. The line has ended. Yes, yes, this particular practice, you all know values always pass from right to left. So, A, B, C will assign to C name column of this work area. Now, I will go to second column. What is second column? Department. And what is the department? Suppose I will take admin department. Dot. Now, we will go for third column. What is third column? Amount is equal to. 10,000. I will write 10,000.00 because we have how many decimal places. If you see this data element, data element has a domain and we have how many decimal places? Two decimal places. So I took two decimal places also. So our first record is in the work area. How it will go to internal table now? with the help of append. So I will write append LWA underscore data to LT underscore data dot line has ended. So our first record from the internal table move to work for first, our first record from the work area moved to the internal table. And we already cover, always make a practice that you will clear the work area after every append statement. Always make a practice. So our first record went to internal table. Similar way, we will insert rest of the four records also. Copy, paste. 
What is second column? What is second value? Department is HR. And what is the amount? 20,000. I will copy the third column. I'll copy the third record, sorry. I'll make a third record. And the third is again admin. 50,000. Now I will go for fourth record. Fourth record is training. Now what is training? 10,000. Now we will go for fifth record. And that is HR 20,000. I'll check the syntax and activate up to this level. So we inserted five records to the internal table using which particular statement append statement. Now in the next video, we will apply collect on to these five number of records. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we studied that with the help of collect, you can make some of amount values based upon unique character values. And we took the requirement. In that requirement, we have three columns and we have five records. We make a internal table of three. We make a internal table of three columns. We inserted five records to the internal table. Now we will apply collect in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.